It's, it's just something serene or peaceful about just looking at the ocean and, and how it moves. And to me, that's all. But yet, in just a matter of really minutes, that calm and peace can be devastating. During my time, which hasn't been that long, there's been four major storms. The flooding that we saw during Florence was um, historic for the camp. And Dorian being the year after that was just a one-two punch, if you will. It's just, we were just kind of finishing getting recovered from Florence after a year and Dorian hit us really hard. St. Paul used to be uh, very vibrant. The, the people, the congregation was alive, choirs, but it has had uh, its share of uh, devastation in that it has been destroyed many times over the years. By the time we got here in, in 2012, the numbers had fallen precipitously down due to uh, Hurricane Irene. And they had to rebuild and then had to rebuild it again and again. It's pretty clear that when we have major storms, there's attrition. People leave and they can't come back. They can barely afford to leave. Plus, their homes have been destroyed. Well, we no longer have a grocery store. There's no primary care physicians here. There's not a lot of jobs. The Aurora community is dying. People in the community, they call the names of these storms like, just like they're talking about a cousin. Arthur, Claudette, Floyd, Florence. But these storms were a part of their lives and it brought pain and it brought devastation. Each time it left an indelible print on the hearts and minds of this community. And it's gonna happen again. Because we know that the sea levels are rising. This is not something that is of question. This is a fact. You know, after a while you get to a point and you say, where do we go from here? Wind turbines and, uh, and, and solar panels. The great wonders that can be done to build on that resilience to climate change can make a huge difference. After every storm where there has been floods, people tell us, well, you should lift your buildings. And that would help out. That's cool to be told that, but it'd be really cool to have like, well, you know, here's a certain amount of money that would help you do that to get that funding up front and just make those changes before having to ask after devastation. That would be pretty cool. I fully, wholeheartedly, 100% believe God is a God of creation. God is a God of creativity, and I don't believe that God is making devastation, which means we have to look in the mirror. I have to look in the mirror and say, yeah, I'm a part of this problem. We were given a responsibility, and we can't shrug that off anymore. There ought to be the impetus to help prevent this from happening simply by addressing climate change. After all, it's not ours. The earth is not ours. The book says the earth, what? Is the Lord and the fullness thereof.